Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So as you may see by the title of this video, today's video is going to be my highlighter collection. I've been debating to do this video for a while because I know that you guys have been requesting for me to do a makeup collection and I will be doing one, but here's the thing. Honestly, like the old setup that I used to have is exactly the same as what I have now. I might have like a little bit more makeup than I used to in the last video that I recorded, but I don't feel like there's a huge difference and I'm just not the biggest fan of makeup collection videos. But since you guys requested, I will be filming it soon. Meanwhile, I figured that I would show you guys my entire makeup collection just video by video, kind of like a little series here and there. Um, just whatever you guys request, I will film it for you guys. So today, I'm just going to be showing you all the highlighters that I currently own. FYI, I am slightly obsessed with highlights. So these are all the highlights that I have. I know I have tons. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. So I really hope you guys enjoy them and I will have everything listed in the description bar down below. So make sure to check that out and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm not going to go in any specific order. I'm just going to pick them up and you know take it as I go. So the first one that I'm just going to get out of the way since it's pretty much the biggest one. This is really, really, really new. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. And this is in that glow. This suits better medium to deep skin tones, which I feel like I'm right in between. There's a different one that is meant for lighter skin. I obviously didn't pick that up because I knew it wouldn't suit my skin tone that well. So this is what it looks like. These are actually really big and what I like about these is that you can just pop them out and you can add another highlight color to here. Honestly, when I first got this about two weeks ago, I wasn't that impressed. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I wasn't that impressed by them and this was my first time ordering highlights from Anastasia. The thing is that with these, they're so finely milled that these give you more of a natural glow, but I mean, I like a pretty intense glow. So these are gr growing on me now. I do like them a little bit more now. And then these two are my favorite ones that I like to mix to apply them, you know, as a highlight. So yeah, this is again the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow. Next, I'm going to show you one of my probably most used and definitely my favorite highlights. And I have three, four, five from the brand Luxy Beauty. The first one here, um, and this is actually her old packaging, I believe her new packaging is a little bit different. This one is called Ever After. This one is a very unique highlight because this one actually has a little bit of um, like violet undertones. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick this up but it has a little bit of those violet purple undertones. The next one is called Bombshell, and if I am correct, this is actually supposed to be a dupe for the um, the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. I don't own that one, but I've heard that this is supposed to be a dupe for it. The next one is probably one of my favorites from hers, and this one is called Honey Child. It, I think this is actually one of the first ones that I ever tried from her and from there I just like fell in love with them. Honey Child has a little bit more of a bronze to it. Nonetheless, it is so pretty, super pigmented and this just looks absolutely gorgeous as well. The fourth one is called Centerfold. This one is another beautiful highlight. Centerfold has definitely more of those yellowy champagne colors but it's a little bit lighter i really like this one as well i don't use it as much because i feel like it's a little bit too light on me and i'm not a big fan of the light highlights i'm definitely more of a golden highlight type of girl nonetheless it is so pretty and it's just absolutely breathtaking and then the last one that i have is definitely my favorites I would say this one and Honey Child are my favorites. This one is LaBelle and I believe this is one of her newest highlights. And as you can see, the packaging is different. This is so pretty. As you can see, I've used quite a bit because I love it so much. This is actually the one that I'm wearing right now and I have it mixed with another one which I will show you in a little bit. 
But this one is, I don't even know how to describe it. I feel like this one is more of a true gold highlights. Really pretty, and again, they're so pigmented that a little bit of these go a long way. So next, I'm gonna move on to some e.l.f. highlights that I use. These are probably the most affordable highlights in my makeup collection that I have. This one is called Moonlight Pearl, and if you can see that, it is a very pretty white highlight. I do like this, although I feel like it doesn't completely go well with my skin. Um, the next one is actually a baked eyeshadow but it has the most beautiful golden undertones that I actually use it as a highlight and let me see if I can show you guys this one is definitely a true gold it's that one right there and then the very last one is called Pinktastic and this one is a little bit darker than Moonlight Pearl this one has a little bit more of like a champagne color such a pretty color and all of these are only three bucks which you really can't go wrong with it I also have this one it's the elf golden bronzer now this one I like to use it as a highlight because I don't feel like it's warm enough to bronze up my face but if you swirl all of these you get another really pretty golden highlights now this one is definitely a little bit more subtle than any other highlights that I have. This is another e.l.f. product and this is called Sunkiss. I actually picked this up because one of my viewers recommended me this and I really like it. It's a gorgeous golden um, highlight as well and this one you can just totally bronze up your face with it and you just look like a bronze goddess. So pretty and super inexpensive. The last two that I have are the Shimmering Facial Whip. I like to apply this to the areas where I will be highlighting and then I'll go over, you know, the, the facial whipping cream. <laughs> what? I'll go over this with another highlight, make sure that I set it. Both of these are really pretty. My favorite one is Golden Peach and as you can, you know, by the name of it, it has a really nice gold peach color to it. And this one is really pretty as well. It's called Lilac Pearl. Or sorry, Lilac Petal. This one has more of a pink color to it, which I'm not a big fan of pink highlights, but I still like it. So next I'm going to move on to some highlights that I haven't really heard a lot of people talking about it. This is by the brand TLS. These actually were sent to me a while ago and I just think these highlights definitely need more hype. They actually need, they definitely need more attention because they're so good. They're so, so good. It, this one is in the color Luminous. This one's like a really nice light gold. This one's really pretty, but my favorite one is called Goldie. Oh my God, this one is so gorgeous. I actually lost the top to it when I was doing some bridal makeup and I never found it. It is so pretty. And again, these, because they are loose um, highlights, the power is just amazing. The last two that I have from them is this one right here. It's called Aquarius. And this one is really pretty, but it's one of those intimidating highlights because it has some green um, undertones to it. And then the last one that I have is called Crystal. And Crystal is very, very pretty. But again, it has it's more of a white gold and it's just not one of those highlights that I'm too attracted to. Nonetheless, it is absolutely gorgeous and again, I just love these. I think it's a great idea to have highlights in this type of pigment because the power to them is like a thousand times better. I have three highlights from Physicians Formula which are actually really good highlights. This one is called Warm Nude and oh, I love this one. The reason why I like this one so much is because it has so many different colors. They have, you have your bronze shades, you have gold shades, you have pink shades, you have like yellow shades. So you can definitely customize it to however you like. You can just mix all of them and get a very unique color. And then the other two that I have are their shimmer strips. This one is in Vegas strip and this one is in Wakiki. This one is a peachy glow. Um, it has, you know, more of a bronzing shade to it as you go down. You get a little bit more of a darker color. I haven't used these in a while. I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't used them in a while, so I definitely need to get a new home for these because I don't use them at all. But they are a good highlight. 
two quick um, highlighters that I have from Hard Candy. This is actually one of my favorite drugstore highlights and this one is called 130 Tropics and this is a bronzer. I've talked about this several times and as you can see by that like it is so pretty. This is the Hard Candy Glow All The Way infused with 24 karat golds Glamazon bronzer. Since we're speaking about drugstore I'm just gonna keep on going. This is definitely, again, one of my favorites, and I know that I'm saying that a lot, but if you guys own this one, you know what I'm talking about. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection um, Highlight in Hollywood Boulevard. This is so pretty. It looks kind of funky when you look at it because you get the pink, you get the bronzer, or a brown color, and then you get the yellow but I promise you, when you mix them all, you get the most beautiful golden champagne color. I just love it. If you guys own this, you guys know what I'm talking about. And then two other highlights from the drugstore are the Maybelline Master Highlights by Face Studio. This one is in coral and this is what it looks like. This one is definitely more of a blush highlight because you get some matte little bricks on there and then you get some highlighters in there. And then the second one that I have is called Nude. This is what that one looks like. And this one has more of like beigey colors with a little bit of pink. Again, these I don't use at all, so I definitely need to, again, give them a better home because they just don't get any use out of me. Um, I do have one Gerard Cosmetics um, highlight, and this is in the color Lucy. I love this one. I don't use it as much because it is very intense. Um, this one is a gold, uh, rose gold highlight, so even for me, it is a little intense, so I have to use it as a blush but I honestly forget about this. Next is the Laura Mercier Ma Ma Matte Radiance Baked Powder. Um, and this is Highlight 01. But it's funny when you feel it, it does feel like a baked matte highlight. But when you apply it, it is not matte at all. This, this is the one that I have on top of that Luxie um, Highlights. This is what I have on top of my cheekbones, and as you can see, there is nothing matte to this. This is such a gorgeous highlight. It's worth every penny. Laura Mercier is a little, you know, on the pricier side, but if you guys are willing to pay whatever this costs, I highly suggest that. I really like it. I also have here the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This one goes half and half because it's half a bronzer and half highlights. This is definitely, like, up in my favorites. Holy Grail. I love this color. It is so pretty. It's that perfect gold highlights. As you can see, mine's pretty beat up because I do use it a lot. I like to use it wet and it just gives you the most beautiful golden highlights ever. Um, I also have the Mary Luminizer um, by The Balm. And again, this one is more of a white gold highlights and I do like it I just don't use it as much I actually own just one of the Becca highlights and I know her highlights are actually really really good this one is in the color moonstone and looking back now I wish that I would have that I, I wish that I would have gotten a different color because this is just it doesn't suit my skin tone again I feel like it suits lighter skin better so I, I definitely don't use that one but it just breaks my heart to, you know, throw it away or anything because this is expensive. Another highlight is the Ulta Illuminating Powder and this one is in Yellow Diamond. And this one was my obsession when I first got it, but again, I kind of forgot about it. It's kind of sitting back there. This one has definitely more, again, of those yellow, <sighs> yellow undertones, which are just definitely not my favorite. I don't know why I picked this up, but yeah. I'm actually missing my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. I just I just found out that I'm missing it. And then the last ones that I have here are just like liquid type of highlights. This is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Sunbeam. Really pretty pink highlights um, to it. This one I actually received it in my Boxy Charm. I haven't used it. Um, this is by the brand Jelly Pong Pong, and it's an all-over glow luminizer gel. I also ha have these City Color Cosmetics um, little 
thinks there's I think they're both as a highlight and as an eyeshadow I really like these I haven't used them either in a while but they're really nice as a base for your highlights this one is definitely my favorite um, liquid or whatever you call it this is the ColourPop highlight in wisp I actually use this underneath the highlights that I already have to give it that extra bavavoom push so this is what I have on underneath everything um, I have two of the LA Girl Velvet Highlight Sticks, and this one is in the color Cashmere, and then the other one that I have is in Radiance. I did do a review on these, if you guys are interested in checking that out. Um, there's this Statement Skin Highlighting Crayon. I also got this in my BoxyCharm box. I went through a phase where I just used nothing but, but this, and then I kind of stopped using it. Really pretty highlight in the color Starlight. And then I actually have three of the Luxie Beauty Kickers. I don't use these as much as I wish I could because one of them is really like watery. I don't know what happened to it, but kickers are just supposed to amplify, you know, your highlight game. These are really pretty. I know that she has new and improved packaging, but yeah, I have three of them. I have Divine. This one I don't know, but it has some blue. And then the last one that I have, I don't have the name either, but this one has those green undertones. I also have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in Golden. I don't use this one either. I wasn't a fan of it. Okay, guys, so that is it. That is my entire highlight collection. I know that I was a little intense and probably a little dramatic, but what can I say? I love a good highlights. Definitely let me know what's your favorite highlights, if you're going to be picking up any of these highlights that I just showed you guys. Um, or maybe what highlight I should try. I mean, I'm always on the hunt for a new highlight. You can never have enough. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.